Okay, this is an example of radiant barrier installed. So it's mostly installed in my attic. It's a thin film that reflects 97% of the infrared radiation. Um, I'm still stapling it up. You can see example right there of what the rafter looks like without it. And then here it is stapled on it. This is my uh, spool of radiant barrier film. It's perforated, so it uh, will let moisture go through. Um, that's about a thousand square feet right there. I've already used one roll, thousand square feet, and I'm not quite done yet. I have a bronze metal roof, so uh, it gets easily 150 degrees in the attic here in the summer. My duct work, which feeds the upstairs, was just white insulation, no reflective backing. That didn't become a law uh, or requirement until after my house was built. So I've wrapped it all in double bubble reflective insulation. And then once I'm all done up here, I'll blow in uh, probably another foot of insulation inside here. I am monitoring the temperature and humidity. I have a DS1820, 18B20, <clears throat> and a DHT22 all coming out of the attic. One's above the radiant barrier, and the other's here above, and then the humidity's measured right there. And so far, the radiant barrier here in November, where the inside of the attic is about 78 degrees and above the radiant barrier is about 90. So hoping the time we get to August peak temperatures here, um, that it'll still make a dramatic difference.